If I hadn't worked really hard on myself in my 40s, my wife, Mary Steen Bridgen, wouldn't have even seen me. Let's talk about that because I, I do, I find your marriage to her, from what I know of it, beautiful. And I got the sense from whatever I was reading that you both had sort of given up on yeah. finding yeah. love right before you met each other. Yeah. What was your mindset right before you? I don't know about finding love, but being capable of not messing up a relationship. Okay. And I was such a mess when I met her. And I worked really hard. I mean, therapy and clinics and everything. You're, you're referring through. to your whole public, the whole mess of the Friars the, Club and all and that. All of the above, all right. of the above. That was, all of that was like this. What I was dealing with was Really? Yeah, privately. And I, at one point, decided I wanted to stop being a liar. I wanted to spend most of my life, 90% of my life being creative. I really worked very hard to get in touch with me and what made me tick and why. And it was dark and hard and clearly life is an ongoing process and I'm still working on all of this stuff. But I did make a shift that allowed me, you know, to start telling the truth, being more real. Uh, and in that moment, I met Mary Steenburgen. Uh, was there something that made you feel like Oh, this, this is something I haven't experienced before. Well, I'll tell you, I, in the day I met her for, on, a, uh, on a film where we got, the director got us together for a dinner to see whether we were compatible or whatever. I don't know what it was, but I remember being totally smitten. I remember looking at her. Usually, uh, I'm, if you're around a beautiful woman, but there's no introduction or no, I can't, I, I, I look at beautiful women peripherally, but now I'm supposed to act with this person, so I have, carte blanche to look this person in the face and in the eyes. That's funny. And at dinner, I was just, oh my God, look at her. She had like this, you know, thousand watt bulb going off behind her eyes. She was so light and so interesting. And um, Well, and, and then at the same time, when you're saying that, I can't help thinking like, there's got to be some Sam Malone in that too, in terms of, Oh, this woman thinks I am that guy. Like, did you? I didn't know that. She told me that. She oh, said, did she think that? She said, "Oh, I love this script, but Ted Danson's attached to it, and he's that Hollywood slick, Sam Malone kind of guy." But she says she the first time she kind of looked at me differently it was we were in a lunch line, and and I had just started to paint. Paint. In my self-discovery, I was carrying around my uh, my watercolors or oil colors or whatever they were and uh, painting whenever I had a break. I'd sit down and paint. So I was spattered with paint. And my, my rear end, my Levi's, had a tear in it by the pocket so that the pocket flap was all the way down and you could see my, as she said, tidy whities And she went, well, this, this guy's not cool. <laughs> He's a doofus. I'm, this is interesting. <laughs> now I'm interested. Hey, folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>